These are the four women who hold Bill's filthiest secret yet that will put him in prison for years. For decades, serial rapist Bill Clinton has continued to sexually assault women while getting a free pass from the liberal media. Despite tearful testimonies of countless women who have bravely risked being suicided by Hillary to share what Bill did to them, these women are constantly demonized and ridiculed by liberals who continue to claim these women are making up nonsense as a way to slander the former president. As liberals continue to publicly crucify U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore, based on the shoddy testimony of a woman who appears to be retaliating for Moore's verdict against her while he was a judge, Bill Clinton is finding himself at the center of yet another huge sex scandal after four several brave women have finally decided to risk it all to take their stories public. And why Bill's private jet was nicknamed Air FCK-1 will make you sick to your stomach. The Daily Mail reports, Bill Clinton is facing explosive new charges of sexual assault from four women, according to highly placed Democratic Party sources and an official who served in both the Clinton and Obama administrations. Edward Klein is the former editor-in-chief of the New York Times magazine and the author of numerous bestsellers including his fourth book on the Clintons, Guilty as Sin, in 2016. His latest book is All Out War. The plot to destroy Trump was released on October 30, 2017. The current accusations against the 71-year-old former president, whose past is littered with charges of sexual misconduct, stem from the period after he left the White House in 2001, say the sources. Attorneys representing the women, who are coordinating their efforts, have notified Clinton they are preparing to file four separate lawsuits against him. As part of the ongoing negotiations, the attorneys for the women are asking for substantial payouts in return for their client's silence. A member of Clinton's legal team has confirmed the existence of the new allegations. Back in the late 1990s, Clinton paid $850,000 to settle a sexual harassment lawsuit by Paula Jones, a former Arkansas state employee whose case led to Clinton's impeachment in the House of Representatives and his subsequent acquittal by the Senate in 1999. The negotiations and the new lawsuits are said to have reached a critical stage. If they fail, according to sources in Clinton's inner circle, the four women are said to be ready to air their accusations of sexual assault at a press conference, making Clinton the latest, and most famous, figure in a long list of men from Harvey Weinstein to Kevin Spacey who have recently been accused of sexual assault. The new allegations refer to incidents that took place more than 10 years ago, in the early 2000s, when Clinton was hired by Ron Burkle the Playboy billionaire investor, to work at his Ukaipa companies. Bill's escapes with these women were well known to many around him, where he and his buddy Roy Burkle used to fly around the world in Burkle's private jet, which was nicknamed Air FK-1 because of all the illegal boning that was going on. But it wasn't all fun and games for these women once they were in the air. These four women, whose identities have yet to be revealed, allege that they were only in their late teens at the time and say that they were all sexually assaulted by the former president. So far, there's no evidence to suggest that Burkle knew about the sexual assaults, which is hard to believe considering this all happened on Burkle's private jet. When Rapey Bill was contacted for comment, he stated through his legal team, Obviously, I'm aware of, the allegations, but can't talk about them. The Daily Mail predicts that this new scandal is likely to revive the debate over why Democrats defended Clinton during the Monica Lewinsky scandal and why liberals and feminists ignored credible charges of sexual assault against the 42nd president, not only from Paula Jones, but also from Juanita Broderick, Kathleen Willey, and others. Bill is distraught at the thought of having to testify and defend himself against sex charges again said a Democratic Party official who is familiar with the case. He hopes his legal team can somehow stop the women from filing charges and drag him through the mud. It's absolutely insane how Bill the Rapist has managed to stick his man parts in whoever he wanted over the years, all while Hillary and the mainstream media worked religiously to bury the story and demonize these poor women. Hopefully justice will finally be served for every woman who has ever been victimized by this disgusting sexual predator.